My name is Melody Scales, and again, you have just tuned into the good news. I thank you, I love you, and I appreciate you so much. Today, I am going to be talking about good old H2O. We hear the term often, it's a word that we throw around. Sometimes we take it for granted that it's so plentiful for us here in the USA, and it's, a, its disposal is literally at our fingertips. And we oftentimes don't realize the importance of water or H2O and how much it truly means to the human survival. Today, I am going to be reading a few facts that I got off of Google. I am a Google fanatic. I Google everything. So I Googled some facts on water, and I would like to read them. Um, the first fact is, did you know that um, proper water intake keeps your body perfectly balanced? If you drink the right amount of water that's necessary for your body to function, it outrules sickness or any other issue that health issue that you may have within your body as a result of lack of water. And oftentimes, sometimes sickness, um, more times than not, is related to not having um, adequate water intake. Can you believe that? It's a fact that, you know, we hear, but do we really hear it? Um, okay, second fact. Did you know that water is essential for life to exist, and I'm pretty sure you've heard this oftentimes. Scientists talk about it all the time, you know, about finding bodies of water or water here or water there. And if they do, then they know that somewhere it's a possibility that life could exist. Why? Because where there's water, it's the potential for life. Another fact is more than two thirds of the human body weight is made up of water. The human brain is 95% water, your blood is 82% water, and your lungs are 90% water. Another fact, you can go weeks without food, but only five to seven days without water. Five to seven days without water. There are also many Bible references um, to water, um, and the references go on and on and on and on and on about water. And so I kind of stopped, and I just kind of wanted to ask myself, why is water so important? When God created this world, why did he create it and have water to be the center, the center of it? What is so important about water that God felt it necessary that our body is mostly made of water, that we require water in almost everything we do, from washing our hair to cooking to preparing meals. Everything is water, water, water. What is the importance of water? Um, also, another fact is, water is one of the few substances that can expand when frozen. Water expands one-tenth its volume when frozen, and this gives water the unusual characteristic to float on top of itself when it's frozen. Most substances, when they're frozen, become dense and they sink. Water is important is the bottom line. I'm not sure I'm still praying and seeking God for the answer and please believe that I will make a video when he does reveal this answer to me um, to my question of why is water so important? Why did he make water of importance the way that he did? Um, however, I am going to do a demonstration for you guys and I just want to show you what water is capable of how God created it special in its own form. So don't go anywhere just yet. Okay, and now for the demonstration. So here in front of you, you have a glass of water and I'm going to take an ice cube and I'm going to place it in the glass of water. And that is, as you notice and you can witness is that the ice cube is floating on top of the water. It's floating on top of itself. Now I have an ice